Hello people, what is Crack Lacking? So if you're seeing this video, unfortunately this is the last video of 2020 and the last video for my channel, Inspiration Away. Um, so, you know, I'm going to do what I usually do, my end of the year video, before I do that two things. If you can subscribe, like, comment, all that juicy stuff, juicy nuts, that'd be very much appreciated. There should be a su 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 subscribe button at the bottom. If you can also help me out by, if you want a good editor, go to Ed Academy and look for Stephen Dreamer, Dima, something like that. Uh, he's an amazing editor, he's the one that edits my channel for me. Well, does the ending, opening and end bits and stuff and other stuff. Amazing editor, if you need a good editor, he's your man. Um, so let's crack on. So it's my end of the year video, I'm going to talk about it like I do every year. Kind of the positives, negatives and how I think my year in general has gone. Um, I can happily say there is hardly no negatives, thank God. There are obviously, you know, it's a bit of a weird, weird year this year. Definitely been a weird year, you know, it's definitely had its up and downs and I feel everyone's been affected in different ways and felt it. Uh, you know, I know I don't show up on camera much and I seem to be a happy-go-lucky person all the time, but trust me, there's been times when I've sat here and been like, oh, I can't fuck with this shit. And then I had my down moments, but you know, I had a down moment recently a couple of days ago, believe it or not. But, you know, I tend not to kind of show that stuff on camera because I don't think it's fair on you guys. I want the channel to inspire you guys and make you laugh, not, you know. Um, so, you know, the good old C word hit us and COVID and kind of put a negative. The thing it affected me mostly was my fight because obviously I would have had my first fight in April, second fight in December and probably would have had a third fight coming up in March. So I would have been training for that. Um, the of tra charity matches, obviously. Um, you know, but in Astro respect, big word coming for me, Astro respect, um, it's kind of, I've kind of turned it into a positive. Now, granted, there is still stuff I haven't achieved this year. I haven't got my uh, white belt grading, which I could have probably got this year. I was ready for it. Um, Jiu Jitsu, I was re getting near enough to the stage where I could probably go for it, or I was ready for it because my coach said to me, You're ready to go for it. You know, so it has affected my gradings, which is a bummer. And it has affected, obviously, the fight itself. Because I've had two fights by now, probably. But then, that's where I've kind of turned it into a positive. So this is where we're going to talk about the positives of the year. Because there's a lot of positives for me. I've had a very decent year. And I'm not using this video to rub it into people. Um, I don't want to use this video to kind of, like, inspire people. Like, even though it's been a tough year, you can still... If you've got the work mentality, the focus and the drive, still get goals achieved and still get things done. So, like I said, the COVID kind of fucked my training uh, MMA up. Not my MMA, because I still train, but my fight's up. But in an actual respect, it's kind of given me time to grow on my MMA. My actual MMA skills. There's five things I feel I've really grown on this year. Um, and my MMA is one of them. Because the fights got cancelled, not cancelled, but yeah, cancelled, postponed for next year, it's kind of given me more time to get better on my MMA. Now, granted, I might have had my first cage fight, and I still had training in me because I still was doing kickboxing during the time before uh, the first fight was happening. And we had to go on like eight weeks training. Because you do eight weeks training anyway. But first week I was still doing kickboxing for about half a year, a year before my first one was coming up. And I would have done jiu-jitsu for about four or five months before my first one came up. So I still would have had training but obviously now it's got postponed. I've had a whole nearly a year and a half of training in kickboxing. I'm much better in it now. Um, nearly a year, i say eight to nine months of yeah, eight to nine months of jiu-jitsu training. So now, obviously, I'm a lot better in both of those. So, in overall, in essence, the cancellation of my fights gives me time to get much more prepared in my MMA fighting skills. Um, and it's given me a lot more time to learn a lot more skills, to learn how to use footwork, to get the ducts and weaving in, to get the blocks in, to get the faking in. All that sort of stuff is stuff I've learned throughout this year, which I probably wouldn't have learned much of it. I would have learned a little bit of that sort of stuff, but not much compared to now. So, you know, it's kind of turned that into positive, gave me more time to get better on my MA. And it's also, because my fights got cancelled, gave me time to kind of concentrate on my music. Now, I've always said this, and I will say this to the day I die, I am not an amazing rapper. I do not claim to be an amazing rapper. And my rapping and songs are very, for a particular audience, because they're not songs about guns or violence or any shit like that, because that's not what I want to rap about. 
mine about touchy subjects. So like I said, I've done one on my hands, so I've done my road to greatness, which I'm going to be redoing. Um, and you know, I've done a song with my mate. Now, granted, the one I've done with mate is kind of the fuck you, fuck you, this fuck you, fuck this style, but that's kind of because it's a mixture of our two styles. Um, but whereas, like my road to greatness, that's me about that was more about me going on a journey and discovering the true me and getting the confidence that I am today. And obviously, my nan's one is dedicated to my nan who passed away. And I've got more. I've got confidence one. I've got um, my stepdad's one. I'm currently working on about how my marriage kind of failed. Um, I'm not going to go into reasons why, but it kind of failed due to me. I fucked it up. Um, and it kind of used the heartbreak of losing my wife to kind of focus on me and become a strong person. Now I'd love to mix the style I've got, my lifestyle I've got now, with being with her. But you know. So I know my rapping's kind of like for certain people. But it still gives me that time to get better at my music, to sit down and actually focus on my music, get better. Um, and actually go to the studio and produce an actual track. Like, I'm releasing my EP this year. I would have by the time this video is out. Um, you know, which is amazing. Because if you said to me a year ago, I would have went to the studio a few times and actually released an EP. And have, like, two or three official songs recorded. Right, I've got to go back and do my road to greatness to make it better. But, you know, I've still got my nan's one which come out, which is my EP one. And I've still got them on my mate. If you was to say I, a year ago I would have done any of that stuff, I would have said no. So that's how I kind of turned COVID into a negative of not having my fights into a positive by giving my, dedicating more time to training and more time to music because it's giving me more time to structure my music better and get better and faster. But there's also three other things I think I've really been able to grow this year. One of them I'm doing now is YouTube. I've really this year kind of tried to focus on YouTube and get my thumbnails, my titles, the video quality of you for you guys better. I've invested um, invested in a lot more for my YouTube this year. I've obviously got a nice little professional light now. I take a lot more time to edit my videos. I've got an editor that I work with. I've got a microphone stand that I can use now. Um, these little things, you know, and I think over, I've also tried to make my content a lot better by focusing on two things instead of having a channel of all sorts. I've tried to focus and make my main channel about fitness and MMA and then videos that will make people laugh and smile. So that's where like the MMA No Skill to Skill series comes in and the Moon Hammer Fu I would have done and the Kung Fu, top 5 Kung Fu things and that's where the fitness comes in with the resistance fans because that's no part of No Skill to Skill. And then the comedy stuff is where you get the challenges and podcasts. And I think really concentrating on, like I said, all the stuff by doing all that stuff, the title thumbnail, putting more time into it, more dedication and more focus, it's made my channel a lot better. Um, which I've never, I've got 500 subs, which I never thought would happen. And focusing, having a second channel for my game, and I think will in the time make that better as well because at the moment it's a new channel. Um, and then, lastly but not least, myself. I've stated many times I'm probably in the best shape I've ever been. I've gone from 100 kilos this is the beginning of the year to at the moment I'm 83.8 kilos. Um, I've still got three weeks left of my shred, so by the time it finishes, I could be 83 kilos. Um, and mentally I just feel like I'm stronger than ever. I'm confident, I know what I want in life, I know what I've got to do in life to get those things. Um, I'm much more laid back, I don't let haters get to me as much. And all these things I think it's just made me a better, more person that people can relate to and chat to. And actually, you know, I've made myself just, in general, I think a better person, physically and mentally. And also, I think friends. I think it's been a good year for me, my friends. Um, now that might sound, sound, sound silly because you'll think, well, what do you mean? Your friends, your friends for life. But I mean, you know, G-Man. I've made good memories with him this year by going to Weymouth. It was a great our only trip this year because we couldn't go to Butlins. But, you know, it's still a memory with him. And then my other friend, Hayley, which is my other good friend. I feel like her, me and her has grown so much this year as friends that we're probably the closest we've ever been. Um, you know, and I really... I'm thankful for that, because as exes, you know, it's hard to get a good friendship with your ex, but I feel we've got to that point where we are really strong friends, um, and we chat about anything, anything to each other, and we can go out and have drinks with each other, we did for my birthday. So, you know, I think like this year, the most important thing is I've done a lot of growing, and I'm happy about that. Um, so, yeah, this year has been a very good year for me, I think, and I hope to make 2021 a better year. But on that out, Make sure you check out my check second channel, A Gaming Two. I'm in Inspiration Eight. Happy Christmas. Hope you have a good had a good year. 
I hope you continue to have a good new next year. Cheers. Bye.